right, friends, let's see what I got today. Don't know what this is, as usual, so we're going to find out. But hopefully it's it's cool. Yeah, every watch is cool. Oh, God, this is hilarious. <laughs> yep, I was waiting for this one. Don't know if you guys remember, this one was was a trend. Boom. All right, let's see if I can find a video. If you're looking for great men watches by August Steiner, this video is for you. My name is Emma, your personal guide. Welcome to our channel. At any time you can click this circle in the corner and get more info and real-time deals on your favorite products. Ready? Let's start. Number 1, most popular, by August Steiner. Watch this video, choose your favorite. Number 2, another great product by August Steiner. Number 3. For more info about this great August Steiner watches, just click this circle. Number 4. Number 5, also by August Steiner. Alright guys, so... Don't criticize me. <laughs> I do apologize. Um, this is the August Steiner, and it is the. Uh, it actually doesn't even have a name. I can't actually figure out a name. I think it's just called the. Uh, it's just their tank watch. <laughs> so, um, okay. So I actually wrote up some things that I'm going to discuss first because I think it's just, it's, it's useful information for the history of this watch because it's interesting. And I'll, I'll put a couple pictures up as I'm going through this. Um, August Steiner was a watch company that made its debut in 2006. Although headquartered in Brooklyn, New York, it was among one of the early rush of internet watch startups with production and assembly in China. With a strong focus on unique styling, the brand unfortunately suffered from below average quality due to having used mostly inexpensive parts. Quite a few of the watches produced from August Steiner were largely forgettable, having never been able to make its mark in the industry. This particular watch was among one of their later lines that was meant to bring attention back to the brand by placing a very small gold ingot in the face of the watch. After a disappointing year of declining sales, the company's social media accounts slowed to a crawl, with their last official post occurring in late November of 2019. By early 2020, their website had been completely wiped of any discernible trace of the company name and exists only as an empty placeholder. Now, I had to actually look it up because you can see uh, this is... This is what I was able to pull from the Wayback Machine, so you can see actually what the website used to look like. And this was their About Us, which I will read to you. August Steiner is firmly committed to manufacturing these distinctive timepieces with a stylish flair that catches the eye of fashion-conscious watch consumers. Established in 2006, the brand experienced tremendous growth and is best known for its seamless integration of style and versatility. Although every watch model belongs to a collection with a unifying theme, each can stand on its own merits. Quality is the most important aspect of an August Steiner timepiece. A solid foundation permeates throughout the entire watchmaking process. Crafted from the finest materials and overseen with strict quality control standards, the brand backs up its product even more by offering a comprehensive two-year warranty. August Steiner also offers Exceptional customer service with knowledgeable representatives who will address your issues, comments, and questions in a timely and efficient manner. Uh, that would be if they weren't out of business. All right, so this watch, um, yeah. I am trying not to, if there's any August Steiner fans out there, I apologize. I'm trying not to bash 
this watch, but it is a watch with no name, right? Like a horse with no name, I suppose. Um, it's an interesting watch and I'm gonna pull the things off, but I will uh, be selling this watch. Um, it's not something that's worthwhile for me really to keep. Um, it's just what it is. Uh, they offered three versions of this watch. Uh, this is the, and I apologize for the glare. This is the black face one with a silver bright bracelet. They have one with a white face. And then they also have one which is a mix of gold and silver with a white and gold face. Now, um, you know what? It's actually cloudy too. You can actually kind of see um, this watch has been sitting around for a while uh, and it is it's also dead. There is no battery whatsoever. It's completely dead. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to continue this uh, this video, but I'm going to quickly change the battery. So hang on. And I'm going to clean the face. All right, sorry about that. I had to clean the face. It was driving me nuts. I'm gonna look at that. It was it was hideous. And at least now you can actually see what's going on. It's it's actually clear. So I've talked about it before, but when that happens, that's because the gases coming off of the movement uh, create a film on the underside of the glass, and it makes it look cloudy. Almost all watches that have been sitting around for a while, that's what happens, and you just have to clean them. There's just really nothing else you can do about it. Um, a little bit of, there we go. I thought that was on the inside, thank God. <laughs> now, I have to apologize in advance. That was the totally wrong way to replace a, um, <laughs> a battery. I just raced through that. I don't even have the right tools. I was using this, which is not a watch tool. All my tools are still in storage because I moved and I haven't built my workshop yet, so I had to improvise. I apologize, I still did it well. Um, but remember, this is like a, is a cheap watch. Um, actually, on that, uh, I will put the auction and price that I paid right up there. MSRP is $495, which I think is a bit ridiculous, right? We talked about this before. These are one of those watches like Picard and C, which was just kind of like a, sort of a nonsense trying to pre pretend like it's a luxury brand. Um, and uh, selling watches that were pretty much quickly mass produced, um, sort of a, a line of cheap watches, but whatever. I mean, it, it's it's a fun watch, but August Steiner no longer exists. So this is an orphaned watch. That's what it is, kind of sad. But yes, it does have an actual gold ingot on the face, which is kind of cool. And there's a close up of what that looks like right here, basically on the front. So it's not even a 10th of a gram, but, uh, whatever all right i'll do some quick measurements so it's a tank watch so it's going to have a naturally smaller face um it is 35 35 um width and across which will be similar to the uh, lug is 46 depth is Ten and a half doesn't really have a lug because you can't really replace this but the, the strap width is 20 and uh, I guess the lug width which is still a valid measurement even though you can't replace this is about 49 so it's quartz Japanese movement picture of it up here it's a Seiko so actually not horrible, right? I mean, you saw that it's a ladies movement, but it is a Seiko, an SII, and so it is decent. 
Uh, and now it has a brand new battery. <laughs> um, it's got a Milanese or somewhat of a Milanese. It's not really, it's supposed to look like a Milanese bracelet. Um, and I'll put a picture of a real one up here. Uh, this is really just a link mesh. Um, the, the case back is acid etched, which is basically uh, they, they put a film on it where they don't want it to eat away. And then they put some acid over it and it eats away the rest of it and it leaves what you see here. Which is kind of cool. That's just what they do. Um, I don't think there's any... I don't think there's a... Uh, I mean, it's just a standard three hand, right? With second, so there's nothing special about it. I don't think there's any um, loom. We'll see. I mean, I don't even know why I'm trying because I don't even see any. No, there's none. Okay. Let's check the weight. Be nice if it was worth its weight in gold, but it is not. It's heavy. I'm going to say 120 grams. So there you have it. All right. Well, uh, it's kind of cool, but they're out of business. Sorry. August Steiner. Rest in peace. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a thumbs up and a like. I think it's a like, not a thumbs up. And subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, the other stuff. I think there's a bell you can hit. I don't know what that does, but let me know. Thank you very much.